ribs. Yeah. And then I'm just going to pull away. <laughs> And I've got really long nails. Yeah, that's so what's getting me. <laughs> what you so, can do yes. is pop a towel down. <laughs> hey guys, this is Nina. I'm wanting to show you some treatment that I'm going to do today on Ninja. Um, so this treatment's really good for anyone who has a rounded thoracic and forward shoulders. You might be getting a lot of treatment in your like erector spinae, upper back. Um, and it might be giving you some temporary relief, but it's not actually getting to the cause. If you've been sitting at an office, working on computers for a long time, your chances are you're starting to look like this with your posture. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to work through Ninja's pecs and also through his ribs. Um, so this is gonna help to open him up and bring the ribs out. So Ninj, I'll get you to lie on your back. Okay. So we'll start with pecs. I'm going to do this side first. I apologise for my long nails today, Ninj. No, I know you're good. <laughs> Using the pads. Uh, getting into me where Leo and myself did a bit of a, some chest. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. What did you do? We did 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Yeah. We did pull-ups, then dips, then push-ups. We did that four times through. So it was like six minutes. Of, wow, that's huge. Yeah. That's awesome. Sorry for interrupting your video, guys, but I want to talk to you about the MMT Online Academy. So you might have been looking at Ninja and I doing our stuff for a long time now, thinking, how good would it be to work at MMT? But you might be overseas. This is your chance to get exclusive content updates from us every single day to make you a better practitioner, more new customers, better results, and skyrocket your income. So if you want to be on the Inner Sanctum, get into the Academy. All you've got to do is dedicate five minutes a day to making yourself better, and it's just 28 bucks per month. How good's that? Seven bucks a week. Let's go! Awesome. Yeah. Started off strong and then um, kind of was a battle to get yep. through. So, but it's a good workout for the body and the mind. It's yep. Good conditioning stuff. Oh, that's awesome. So, yeah. Trying to stay in front of Leo yeah. <laughs> if I can. <laughs> Pretty determined trainer, aren't you, Leo? Yeah. So, at the moment, I'm using my pizzy form and I'm just like tracing a collarbone. So this is going to get to all the attachment points. How's that feeling? Yeah, in there, it's good. And I'm not just like restricting myself to this area. I'm going to come all the way out over here. And then just moving a bit lower and get more into like the muscle belly. Just moving nice and slowly. And yeah, also starting right at the sternum where there's also lots of attachment point for the muscle. That's good. So you're interested in this yourself? For your own posture, or you got an opposite posture? My posture is the complete opposite. Yeah, okay. Which I just found out recently. Um, but I have a lot of clients that I treat for upper back because they've got that rounding. People who work in an office setting and they're just at a computer all day. So getting to the cause is, yeah, definitely a good idea. So now I'm going to go and trace the sternum. And I'm just gonna like find, I can feel the sternum with my pissy form. So just going right off the edge. Oh. Is that too bony there or is it okay? No, it feels good. Nice 
pinned in there. I reckon that must have been um, pick minor. Pin down. So for working on a female, you're going to be a bit more restricted with the areas you can work through. So again, now we're going through the muscle belly. There's that tendon again that I've gone over. Whoa. Feels good. Because I can feel something flicking now. I just want to go through it with my thumb. There. I'm going to slow down even more. We know this spot needs it. You, um, you're an avocado moose maker, is that true? Avocado moose maker? Yeah. yeah. Do you know the, <laughs> the chocolate moose you make with? I've um, made it before. Yeah. But not recently. Not recently. You gotta get back into it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking with Tash about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Avocado, dates and cacao or banana. Yeah. So the dates. Yeah, kinda of makes it a nice, um healthy kind of dessert. Oh, and, that's a great idea. And um yeah, have it with a bit of fresh fruit as well. It's it's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, you'll have to send me a recipe. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Got my um, my raw slice here today. Do you have a piece yet? I haven't yet? had any yet. You've got to get into it, it before it goes. Yeah. So here we're getting to more attachment points. So on the opposite side of the muscle. And I guess we're going through biceps a little bit now too. But yeah, I think this just helps a little bit. Jeez. Get in there. It's good. Yeah. Can do like trigger points through here as well. Like that, and like here. And you can do this one as well. This is a great one. And I'm going to show you what I do for ribs. So this one's just very simple. So, Ninja, I'm going to get you to take a nice breath in, and then you're going to breathe out. So that's going to allow me to sink under his ribs and I'm literally just like getting my fingers under oh, his ribs yeah, yeah. and then I'm just going to pull away <laughs> and I've got really long nails. Yeah, that's so what's getting me. <laughs> <laughs> what you so, can do yes. is pop a towel down. <laughs> Clawed me. That's right. Like that. So this will just help to like open up all those muscles between the ribs. Yeah. Um, if you're really tight and restricted here, you're going to have like less ability to breathe. So this can really help with your breathing. Because yeah. yeah, this is like where your diaphragm starts. So if you're restricted in your diaphragm, you're restricted with how much oxygen you can get in. Yeah. Into your lungs. You can do the other side. So breath in and then out. So that out breath just allows us to sink in. You'll also be able to find if someone's got tightness in like their um, abs, because a lot of 
the abdominal muscles will attach onto the ribs. So if you are really struggling to like get your fingers underneath, that's probably a sign that they've got tight abs. That's it. How was it, Ninja? Done. <laughs> Feels good. Yeah, yeah, it's good to have some work and um, get some awareness of where you are actually sore and tight. And like the, yeah. the body can't lie if you push into it and it, there's pain response there. You kind of know that something's not right there. So yeah, yeah. encourage people to yeah get some work done, especially yeah. if you do have thing where you you know desks and yeah phones and driving and things like that, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, get this work done. So if you're constantly getting this area worked and it helps for a little bit but it's just coming back, yeah, definitely ask to get pecs treated and then ribs. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> cool, thank you, Dad.